following program is rated PG. The following program deals with mature subject matter and contains scenes of sexuality. Viewer discretion is advised. So, Kay, tell me again how this Mr. Hunk contest is supposed to work. Not Mr. Hunks, Mom. Mr. Harmony. Call it what you want. It's still a bunch of guys parading around with hardly any clothes on. I know. It could be my most brilliant plan ever. Stop picturing Miguel's throbbing pecs for long enough to explain it, okay? Okay. Well, it's very simple. Tomorrow at the carnival, all the guys we've talked into entering show up in their bathing suits. And none of them know it's to pick Harmony's hunkiest guy. Right. I doubt Miguel would have even agreed to be in a beefcake contest. He's too shy. I don't think any of the other guys would have agreed either. They're not going to be too happy when they find out. I'll just throw out the old it's for charity line again and we'll sell off raffle tickets for the prize. Anyways, who cares? We already know who the winner's going to be. Could it be Miguel? Well, it's not really cheating. He deserves to win. Nobody has a body like Miguel's. Anyway, the grand prize is a romantic evening with a mystery date. And the mystery date will be you. Is it a genius plan or a genius plan? It's pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm going to wear my new underwear. You really think he's going to see it? Well, if things go the way I think they will, there's a pretty good chance. Not to burst your bubble or anything, Kay, but what if Miguel isn't too thrilled when he finds out your estate? Why wouldn't he be? I'm sure he's the one who is leaving the secret admirer messages on my pager. I don't really think it's Miguel's style. He's just too shy to let me know how he feels in person. Once he finds out that I feel the same way, watch out. <laughs> Wonder who that could be. Well, what do you know? Kay's secret admirer strikes again. I knew it wasn't Miguel. Should I break the bad news to Kay? Or should I have some fun with her? Gee, let me think. Hey, I thought you had uh, night duty this week, Louise. Yeah, I'm on my way down to the station now. I just stopped in to get some decent coffee for the guys. <laughs> hey, anyway, I was thinking, why don't we throw a party for Teresa? Cool. You know, celebrate her first paycheck from the cannery? Oh, she would love that. You know, I've just been giving her such a hard time lately. I really want to show her how much I love her. Count me in, bro. All right. Whitney, you invite some guys her age. You know, some nice, normal guys. Okay. All right. You know, I just think the best way to keep Ethan Crane out of her head is for her to meet someone else. And they clean all the fish by hand. Well, absolutely, Ethan. I'm very proud of our workers. They do a very thorough, conscientious job. Now, if I could direct your attention over here. Don't tell me that's your Ethan. Yeah. Oh, merciful God in heaven. Well, this is our new processing unit. It's more than doubled our productivity. And this barrel needs emptying. Excuse me, I'll be right back. What I tell you about fate? A very twisted sense of humor. Oh, please don't let him see me. Oh, dear God, just do me this one big favor and don't let him recognize me, please. Who's the girl with him? It's Gwen Hotchkiss. Is that the girl he proposed to? Yeah, that's her. He's good looking. You don't want to lose your heart to some ugly guy. Can you see her engagement ring? What's it look like? She's not wearing one. She must be. I'm telling you, she's not. Maybe they're not engaged. I saw him ask her to marry him with my own eyes. Well, maybe she said no. Are you kidding? Of course she accepted. Maybe you're right. Maybe she turned him down. Where do you know this guy from anyway? My mother works for his mother. You've been with me a long time, Pilar. You know this family better than anyone else in the world, and yet you keep it all to yourself. It's nobody's business, Mrs. Crane. 
I haven't told you often enough how much I appreciate your loyalty. There's no need. Yes, there is. I don't know what I'd do without you. Julian's cheating on me again. Oh, Mrs. Crane. I told him I'd kill him if he ever did it in my house. Oops, my cap. I almost forgot to take it off. Leave it on, Suzanne. I like it. Whatever you say, Mr. Gray. so stupid. How could I have trusted Jean-Luc? You see, it's you I love, not China. Wait to hear Kay's secret admirer is. He's got to be either insane or in prison. Yes, hello. I'm calling for Kay Bennett. Right, you left a message on her beeper. Do you mind telling me who I'm talking to? Oh, wow. Yes, this is her sister Jessica. I think under the circumstances, you and I should talk. 